Welcome back to Africa 54. Health workers in Kenya say more than 60,000 people are living with uh, trachoma, an infectious eye disease that can cause blindness if not treated early. Mohamed Yusuf has visited a remote village where medical professionals are working to bring an outbreak of the disease under control. In this remote rural district in southern Kenya, a local trachoma monitor teaches a group of women how to prevent the eye disease and also how and where to get treatment. Lester Motai is well known in this area for his work fighting trachoma. He frequently travels through villages, advising people on the best ways to avoid getting the painful disease. Visit those homesteads and tell people to go to, to prevent diseases by having their own initiative, to have that facial cleanliness, those without trauma, and even those with trauma. Trachoma is caused by bacteria and is transmitted by contact with eye or nose discharge of an infected person. In developing countries, flies are a major source of transmission. The African Medical and Research Foundation, AMREF, says more than 7,000 people in Kajiado suffer from trachoma, which is typical in this type of poor pastoral community. It characterized by painful eyelid swelling and scarring of the outer surface of the eye, the cornea. Ngeyange is a trachoma sufferer with an advanced stage of the disease. To avoid blindness, Nge will undergo surgery. I am hopeful about the future. Even though in the beginning I was opposed to the surgery, I've changed my mind after continuous advice from people. John Sain with AMREF travels to remote areas of Kenya to operate on those with serious cases of trachoma, like Ngeis. So if this people with active infection are not treated, they end up uh, developing complications whereby the eyelashes start facing inwards and start rubbing on the eyeball. And uh, at this stage, one may lose vision. And the loss of vision in trachoma is irreversible. Kadogo Salash had almost lost her vision to the disease more than five years ago. She too was initially doubtful surgery could help her. When I decided to go for the eye surgery, I was worried and uncomfortable. I thought after the surgery I would not see again. But now it's the opposite. I am confident, happy, and I can do my work well. With this kind of medical assistance and campaigns to educate schools and poorer communities, Kenyan medical officials hope to reduce trachoma prevalence to under 10% and eventually eliminate it entirely by 2020. Mohamed Yusuf for VOA News, Kajiado, Kenya. Well, that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more news and developments, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com.